Hello students, the next question on the line is the midpoint problem. Uh, here, uh, I will read the question. Uh, the midpoint of a straight line AB is 60 mm above HP and 50 mm, 50 mm in front of VP. The line measures 80 mm. So here, there, there are five, here also the five value we need it and inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. So it is very simple. Likewise, in the previous one, uh, we have to draw the XY line. In the previous problem, what we will be doing, we will be drawing one end projection line and we have to find the another end. But here it is not like that. Here it is very simple. Here we have to draw a center projection line for a midpoint projection line. And from here, how much it is above 50 mm in front. So here we have to mark 50 mm. Uh, we can draw a locus on it. and this is 60 mm above. So here also we can draw the locus on it. And for by here, it is the line length is set as 80 mm. 80 mm means the midpoint will be fall on 40 mm. 80 by 2, it will be 40. So here it is given as 30 degree inclined to HP. So over here you can measure the 30 degree, this side 40 mm and this side 40 mm. This is 30 degree, this side 40 mm and this side 30, uh, 40 mm. And the 45 degree means here this side 40 mm and this side 40 mm we have to mark it. So here we got another 4 endpoints. So this 4 endpoints we have to draw the locus on it. So here we can we can draw the 4 locus on it. Now as we what we did earlier here this is the true length. Whenever the true length is given we have to start with a straight line uh, arc. We have to start with an arc then a straight line. And the arc in the previous one what we will be doing it is. The arc has to be drawn up to the starting point locus and the straight line has to be drawn up to the next view's end point locus. But here likewise, here this is the center and this distance as radius. We have to start uh, draw an arc like this and here we can move this one to the next view's end point locus. To the next view's uh, here like same here we can draw it. Like this way we can draw it. And like this, this side also we can start with an arc. Then we can draw a straight line here. So now we can connect uh, the through this midpoint this new end to here. Like this way we can connect it. So this is the true length. So now we can say these both the things will be fall on. Uh, this is the view line and this for, uh, both the things will fall on same in the projectors uh, line. So let's uh, start the diagram. So first by the given diagram uh, we can start with the XY line. X, Y, V, P and this is HP. So we can find out the midpoint. So at here that we can take the 90 degree Ninety degree. So we can draw the locus on it. So here we can measure above is sixty one, two, three, four, five, six. Above sixty and below is the in front is one, two, three, four, five. So this is the point. So here we can draw the locus. We can draw the locus like this. Next. We can find out the 30 degree inclination and the 45 degree inclination here. So here from I am just taking a 30 degree inclination. Thirty degree. So this is 30 degree and next. From here I am just taking 45 degree inclination. 
45 degree inclination so i am just connecting it at the from the midpoint and this side 40 mm 1 2 3 4 this side 40 mm and this side 40 mm i am just connecting it likewise here also this side 40 mm and this side 40 mm i'm just making it so here we got another two ends so for this two ends i'm just drawing the locus I just drawn the locus so here in the previous one we have seen only four locus will four locus and plus one one xy line but here four locus is there and two midpoint locus is added with the xy line so here the true length is given whenever the true length is given means we have to start with a straight line and then an arc so here i will draw the parallel lines here from here it is the up to the next views midpoint locus in before set problem we have drawn up to the next views starting point locus but here this is up to the next views midpoint locus up to the next views midpoint locus i have drawn now we can take the compass and now measure it keeping this point as the center and this distance as radius I will draw the arc likewise here also keeping this point as the center and this distance as radius I will draw the arc ok now let's join through the midpoint from this point through the midpoint I will be joining to the another end like here also I can draw it now after while checking here you can find this both the lines will be parallel this both the lines will be parallel here so this is the problem midpoint problem so here we can give the names this is m and this is m dash let uh, name the name uh, name the point as a 1 b 1 and this is a 2 uh, b 2 and this is b a and again here this is a dash b dash so uh, this will be b b2 dash and this is b1 means this is b1 this is b1 dash and this is b1 uh, so this is the name now we can give the dimensioning so that is so this is 60 and this is 50 now this angle is 45 degree and this angle is 30 degree so totally four values we have marked and now this length here we can mark it and this length will be 80 mm this is 80 mm here we can mark locus of m dash locus of m and this is 
locus of B, locus of A, and this is locus of A dash, and this is B dash. So, this is the midpoint problem. Thank you.